for whatever reason, we have equated being good at math with being smart, right? And that's, of course, very hurtful to students who have got difficulties because they might feel that they are not very smart just because they can't do math. Use explicit instruction, so to really break things down into multiple steps. To use tools such as number lines can be quite effective. Um, to also um, uh, uh, respect that students first use concrete material, then they use representations, and then they finally use abstract symbol. And along this concrete representational abstract continuum, to maybe go back a step if a student isn't quite uh, there yet. Um, and that, of course, also involves thinking developmentally. Some timed activities can be efficient if they're non, if they're non-threatening, if they're you know, more fun activities because those can help to solidify their arithmetic facts and help students with dyscalculia help get some of those facts into long-term memory or at least develop more compacted, more efficient strategies for solving arithmetic problems. You're going to want to use a lot of repetition. Sometimes when you say the directions and your explanations, you're going to want to repeat that a few times because sometimes when a student has dyscalculia, they're not necessarily ignoring you they are just not quite understanding. And sometimes you need to say those um, multiple times. And when you do that, you wanna have some proximity to that student as well. If you know that's a student that struggles, when you're given those directions, you wanna stand next to that person and you wanna repeat it. So the first would be repetition. The second tip I would say is to look for real world connections whenever possible and connect a problem. If it's an algebraic problem, Look for a real world connection that you can align that problem to for those particular students so that they can engage with the problem in a way that they can understand it. And then the third tip that I would add in would be to use kinesthetic techniques whenever possible. Whenever possible, a method where students can use their hands and actually grasp materials, whether those are algebra tiles, whether those are counting blocks. Anytime you can do something where the students can tangibly hold it when discussing mathematical concepts, that's going to be a great strategy. I think helping children um, develop, uh, for lack of a better word, a positive mindset about it and to know that there's something that can be done about it is really, really important because I think even a dyscalculic can become a brilliant statistician or engineer if they're given the right, right supports along the way.